Hello, this is Pastor Ken Carlson. Moses taught the Jews that they shouldn't eat shellfish. They weren't kosher. Anything from the sea that was lacking in fins or scales was considered abhorrent and detestable. So if they ever caught a squid or octopus or cuttlefish in their net, those things had to be thrown back into the sea. And yet, God can teach us something even from unclean animals. Recently, Forbes magazine reported that scientists have found evidence that cuttlefish, a rounder relative of squid and octopuses, can pass the so-called marshmallow test, a study originally used to research delayed gratification in humans. In the original study, children were offered a choice between eating one marshmallow right away or waiting to get two. Cuttlefish prefer shrimp to marshmallows. But a new study found that they were able to hold off eating food that they didn't like as much in order to get their favorite food. Another summary reports that they resisted temptation for up to 130 seconds to earn their favorite food, hinting at sophisticated cognitive abilities such as planning for the future. Some people think that Christians are foolish to plan for the hope of heaven, let alone any existence after death. Their alternative would be eat, drink, and be merry because tomorrow we die. In other words, party hardy. But if cuttlefish exhibit sophisticated cognitive abilities by waiting 130 seconds for a food preference, isn't waiting a few years for heaven the smartest thing to do? For in hope we have been saved, but hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what he already sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, with perseverance we wait eagerly for it. Father, when we're tempted to throw away our confidence of heaven, give us endurance to delay gratification. We want to do your will in the present to enjoy your lasting glory in the future. In Jesus' name, amen.